so guys day in day out i get tons of request to verify documents and these are folks around the globe are you know our youtube and our social media people who watch our videos are looking for help so people generally receive job offers lmias application submission confirmations all sorts of communication from ircc and then they are looking around for help because they don't really believe their agents or maybe employers or middlemen or recruiters and they are looking to verify it from the most authentic source now um in this video today we will be talking about on how to verify your documents now be it could be your lmia job offer or anything and the most important topic is that whether or not is it even possible to verify such documents and if yes what is the right source and where you should be looking for information so guys if you are interested in verifying your documents please be sure to watch the video till the end my name is sahil so guys welcome back once again my name is sahil and i'm a regulated canadian immigration consultant and i practice here in ontario my office is here if you have to get in touch with me my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box more than happy to speak with you before we proceed any further please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about canadian immigration and if you are interested in moving to canada then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time so guys day in day out we get tons of messages from folks around the globe and they are looking to verify the authenticity of a particular document that they could have received from agents middlemen uh, employers recruiters and all sort of parties involved now um because they are situated in uh, you know remote countries for example somewhere in you know say uh, india bangladesh pakistan or maybe middle east you know that's where we get the most of the requests from so people are looking for authentic sources to verify whether a document is authentic or not now uh, broadly based on the kind of requests that i get i would like to qualify these documents in three broad categories first would be an lmia second would be just a job offer and third would be a document that has been given to them by their agent saying that once the application or their work permit or study permit or visitor visa or whatever was submitted this is the submission confirmation okay so basically application reference number and something like that now first let's talk about what can be verified and then we will talk about what cannot be verified now when we talk about what can be verified the first and the easiest document to verify would be basically um, any sort of application reference number now what ircc would normally do uh, is basically whenever you submit an application to ircc they produce an application uh, aor so as we call it aor so they give you a document that gives you on the top an application number if it's a visitor visa generally it would start with v if it's a work permit it would start with w and if it's a study permit it would start with um, s if it's just a pr file it could start with f um, you know these are just broad terminologies but they are not the same every time okay so the ideal way to check the authenticity of an application number is to contact ircc directly now let me just bring up on the screen how to contact ircc now if you go to google uh, and just simply put contact ircc the first thing that crops up is um 1882422100 and here is um client contact services if you look at this the best way to authentic you know authenticate this is that this is a canada.ca website now here you can you know talk to them about say change in your contact information maybe get some help maybe ask a question maybe contact ircc for something else so if you look at this say for example submit requested documents here you'll get two options first option is obviously to call and the second best option is to use a web form now um a web form could be a longer pathway in contacting ircc but it is definitely an effective pathway it can take some time it may take longer than usual so if you are in north america or if you can use you know a service like say text now or google phone or whatsoever you can try calling this number it will be very effective or otherwise um you know between monday to friday 8 am to 4 pm uh, you know toronto time or 
say uh, vancouver time you can try to contact them it's definitely effective the problem with this phone number is that they take a lot of time to connect and sometimes the queues get full uh, even before you can reach out so it can become really tough to contact these numbers alternatively you can send them a web form here uh, on this particular pathway and then you will be able to contact irc so, so for example here um say for example you update or ask about an application if you click here then you can check the application status you can go to our details continue the form and this way you will be able to submit the web form okay the principal applicant continue to form uh, give all your information you are able to attach your document in the next page and this is the way to contact ircc this is the first pathway if you want to contact ircc to check your application number now as far as application number goes this is very effective and very helpful but the biggest problem that occurs is when you are talking about job offers and lmis now first job offers guys i i normally get a request that sahil is this employer genuine or is this job offer genuine on there you know so they would they would send across um, a job offer on a company letter head and it'll chalk out certain details and there'll be signature at the bottom guys let me tell you anybody and everybody can create a letter head and anybody can put down anything on that paper so it is not possible to verify the authenticity of a job offer because a job offer can just be created by anybody like i could just now open a web you know microsoft word and just start typing a job offer put a letter head on top maybe any company name on top say apple samsung whatsoever and then sign you would never know whether the signatures are authentic or the company is authentic unless you contact the company directly and then verify the offer letter now what generally you know happens is these scammers they don't use you know authentic companies but they would create a company online now even that is not possible to authenticate because say somebody randomly has opened a company in canada and trying to utilize you know those details to con you or scam you it is not possible because canada is a wider landscape and we are not able to call those companies and verify somehow so please understand that it is not at all possible to verify you need to be sure that you were contacted directly it will be between you and the company uh, what conversations you had so any random request for example payment for medical say showing up for a particular interview payments for an interview payment for something like that so whenever the word payment comes in the picture you can understand that it can be possibly a scam Uh, so all of these are certain ballpark uh, notices or watch lists that you can have but honestly you will have to take a judgment call on the other hand lmia verification is a different ball game altogether guys um lmia verification cannot really happen because the uh, authorized body that is issuing an lmia is called esdc essentially service canada now the only way to contact service canada is either through your or the company's representative or the company's executive by themselves you as an individual applicant or a prospective employee cannot reach out to esdc because because they will not respond to you they will only respond to either the employer themselves or the representative of the uh, the company so even if you try to call esdc and you know give them an lmia number that hey is this lmia genuine or not they will start cross questioning you because they want to know what was the source of you getting this lmia because if you would have received the lmia genuinely from the company you would not be doubting that particular authenticity of that document so the the sole fact that you are having doubt on the lmia creates a doubt in the officer's mind and then can land anybody into any situation so like i said because esdc will not respond to you or will not respond to us unless we are representative of the company it technically becomes uh, you know an interlock situation where you're not able to verify so there is no um, you know portal or authenticity and you can't even read because these documents get edited on photoshop and adobe you know acrobat and all sorts of softwares where you can't really identify whether they've been tampered with and there are no security seals as well so an online doc- document is just an online document um if that is something that you will have to rely on there is however um a bulk upload of 
which company has issued which lmi but they don't issue numbers right so again it becomes tough to see whether you are being scammed or conned or not overall i think um, that's pretty much all the information that i had to give with regards to verifying documents when it comes to ircc and when it comes to job offers it is not at all possible and when it comes to esdc only representatives and the company officials can verify guys i hope the information today uh, was helpful uh, and gave you much insights into what's happening in the world of canadian immigration if you have anything to discuss with us please feel free to schedule a consultation and we would be more than happy to speak with you and uh, we hope you get approvals for your visas and your permits very very soon and we hope to see you soon in canada all the best